Everyday Peoples, what's up? I'm here with an author. Uh, his name is Elohim. So Elohim, tell the people, everyday people that is, who you are and what you do. My name is Elohim Barak Sitter. I'm the author of a book titled, The Apology of Black Man's Petition to His Sisters. And this is my first book. Uh, it's a book of poetry. And every book in this, uh, every poem in this book is dedicated to black women, talking about their struggles, their pains, uh, their joys and their accomplishments, not all uh, negative, all filled with the, deal with the positive. And uh, it's a good read. So you must have been a bad boy to have read this kind of book. It's kind of thick. Well, actually, uh, I wrote the book out of sympathy because uh, I know a lot of women go through trials and tribulations, especially you know due to the cause of what we do or how we treat them. You know, so I was raised pretty good. You know, a good guy. You know, so I'd never done the things uh, that I wrote about. As I get older, I'm starting to become a manifestation in my poems. So Elohim, are you self-published? Yes, I am self-published. Uh, I self-published self -published my book through a subsidy called Create Space on the Amazon.com. My book is currently available on Amazon.com. Okay, how much is it? It's fifteen dollars online uh, under the name The Apology, or you can look me up on the Elohim B. Um Was it a hard process getting going through the whole self-publishing thing? Not really. We just finding the right. Uh, place to go to. There's a couple of uh, online publishing places you can go to and I chose Amazon.com because it was the most uh, efficient for me. Okay, so let's get back to the apology. What was the motivation behind the creation? You said it was things that you saw. Were there, was any, were there anything in particular like that, that made it hit home? Like maybe you seen something from your well, mother, there's, sister? Well, there's actually one person that inspired the poem that inspired the book and her name was Clara Brown and she was a correction officer. And so one day I called her beautiful and she told me, I hear that every day, you just run a game like the rest of those guys, don't call me beautiful because I know I'm not beautiful. So then I asked her, why, why do you believe you're not beautiful? And she said, my baby father called me ugly every day and I believe him. And when I look in the mirror, that's what I see. You know? And so I felt compelled to, to write her something, you know, uh, to, to apologize, not just for myself, not for him, for every man that ever told us he was ugly or any other sister that felt the same way, you know, in reference to us us men. So, Halloween. Yes, sir. How's your book been received thus far? It's been received pretty well. Uh, the sisters love it. Every now and then you hear somebody says, you know, why do I deserve an apology or I don't deserve it or I don't want to hear it. And once they read a couple of pages, you know, they feel it. I'm sure the majority of readers are women. Are the readers reciprocating the love you're offering? Yes, they are. The majority of my readers are women, but I also have some male readers. Uh, they bought the book for their uh, female friends, wives, mothers, sisters, etc. Uh, and the love is, uh, is well, you know, returned. You know, I have people promote my book on their pages and, you know, word of mouth. Um. Where can women, since they're the majority of your consumers, where can they find your book to consider accepting your apology? Well, again, you can again you can find my book on Amazon.com under the apology of Black Man's Petition to His Sisters. Uh, you can also find my book uh, at Deja Vu Book Lounge, where I'm at now, having a book signing, and I'm in various other locations. Do you have any advice for people trying to get their books self-published? My advice would be to, you know, continue writing, get your manuscript done and finish. Uh, go online, try to find the best venue, you know, avenue for you that, that works for you, and works for your, your finances, you know, and, uh, and stick to it. Be consistent. In relation to your book, The Apology, do you have any words of encouragement you'd like to tell the everyday people? I'd like to tell brothers in particular that, uh, our women are, are deserving of an apology, uh, a sincere one, and so I hope that they uh, read the book themselves and get a better understanding of what women been through or are going through, and uh, you know, be, be contrite about it. You know, and sisters, I want them to know that this is not a game, a gimmick, uh, just a book for profit. But I actually wrote this book because I truly, you know, sincerely believe that they deserve an apology. Okay, that was the last question, but, but before we go, can we hear one of your uh, sincere poetries? Yes. All right.
This poem is titled The Apology, the poem that inspired the book. I solemnly apologize for the guys who fail to realize all and recognize the sunrise in your eyes. I apologize for the men who failed to be your friend before trying to be your lover, never to discover heaven in your mind, the wealth like gold in your soul, and all that's worthwhile in your smile. I apologize for being a child in a child's place when you needed us to be men, for not being righteous and forgiving and to sin, and for not seeing you as that soul sister, respecting you like family, blood, or a distant kin, and for not realizing that without the black woman, black men can't win. And so I apologize again from the beginning to the end of your pain, for running game, for the children we haven't claimed, for bringing shame to your name, being conceited in vain, being involved with you, having no real purpose or aim, and it's strange. Now that my mentality has changed, I see you as I have never seen you before. The gateway to heaven's door, more than one can explore because you're so deep. I repeat, so deep. And through your womanhood, I've learned to be a man indeed. And before I can proceed to succeed in this world, I'm going to treat you like a woman instead of a girl. And so I apologize for failing to see the sunrise in your eye because my perverted vision was locked on your breast and thighs. And I compromise my lust for your trust and no more lies in the skies of the truth. And you are proof. That God is good, that God is great. And I know my decision to express contrition is kind of late and we ever do, but black women, this is my sincere apologies to you. Stay black, stay strong, divine, and beautiful.